Hello, Mustang 0063 back for part 24 of Not Another Needle Gang. And last time I was getting enormously pissed off with the conveyor belt uh, stage on hard mode, stage 5. So let's see how the second half of the, uh, of the stage goes. And uh, this is uh, another example of um, a stage that's actually, I hope anyway, um, substantially easier. Uh, this way up uh, than it was uh, the other way up and uh, well there you go and basically the reason being that you don't have to worry um, as in the slightest about the conveyor belts on the, on on, the, on when you do when you on this go so yay I hope the rest of the uh, <laughs> the, the stage goes by uh, that well um, this one is uh, another one I kind of recognize uh, from uh, previously, and then it is, it is, it is, it is just upside down, um, where, from, from the previous go, and, um, yeah, I'd like to say, uh, it's easier, because, again, you don't really have to worry about the, uh, uh, conveyor belts so much, although, I don't know whether I'm doing this first jump, or wrong, um, I can't see how I'm going to get a no. I, I can't see how I'm going to get a, a a double jump or anything of anything. No, off, off off of the conveyor belt. So yeah, I am doing that right. I'm just um, screwing up on it horribly, and um, I really not want to die um, having made that jump uh, after that. But uh, yeah, I so I guess you just basically need. To, wow, that was uh, an amazingly far double jump. You just basically need to. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, double jump properly. <laughs> And make sure you get as much distance as you can. Last time you were here, I said you were nearing the end. Ha ha, good times. Yes, we're still... Well, we're about... Um, screwed, unless I go back and do that. Um, we're about halfway through hard mode, damn. Although this one doesn't look uh, like it should be... Uh, uh, this floor is not like it should be anything of, anything like of much, much of a problem. Again, this one again, I'm assuming must be so much easier than its upside down uh, version. Or right side up, if this is upside down. Again, because you're not dealing with the conveyor belts, which is not my favourite. Why do I keep dying to that flipping spike every damn time? I'm not dying to it on the way up here. Oh, I guess, there's, I guess it's a slightly more elongated jump, but uh, good. But uh, yeah, again, it's because of the conveyor belts. Um, I, it's generally not my favourite uh, mechanic, and I do find them quite uh, awkward. So yeah, anything that uh, anything in this kind of stage that means I don't have to deal with the conveyor belts um, is a bugger, is um, a good thing. Because yeah, it's not one of my favourite uh, of the uh, of the gimmicks. Um, what the hell? Um, this one, funnily enough, is I don't know. It's probably about the same in terms of difficulty as the as the as the one you probably uh, hopefully uh, remember this one from uh, the, from the first go round. But um, it's more annoying from the point of view that you can't rush it. You you'll kind of uh, remember, or I hope, um, to back to my video on this. On, wow, uh, on this and uh, essentially after mucking around for a few goes and getting uh, get, just getting the hang of it and getting back into the rhythm of it, uh, I was able to clear this. Um, what the hell? Uh, pretty easily. And uh, pretty quickly as well, because you could just use the conveyor belts uh, and speed along. Whereas this one, you've got to be just, you know, you, well, you've got to be slower. You can't automatically speed run. It's, it's just the way it's set up, it's just uh, not possible. So you've got to muck around a bit more. Uh, as I say, in terms of difficulty, it in theory, shouldn't be any more or less difficult than uh, the previous version, although I do find it just ever so slightly difficult, more difficult, but I don't know whether that's tied into the fact that, I just, that I'm just not able to just rush it, but uh, yeah, if you take your time, this is the really hopes to screw up on the final bit, it's not flip. Okay, not terminal, but a tad annoying, and I don't want to do that again. Right, let's get to the bloody teleport for this time. Although, do you remember? 
from last time that there was a troll in the sense that there was no save. So, yes, for goodness sake, don't screw up on that screen again. Or you'll have to redo the other one again. Not that it is the most, um, it is the most obnoxious one that you would have to do again, but still. That one in particular on, on uh, yeah, the second time round just takes a lot longer because you can't really speed run it all that much. A mini spike one. And uh, I think we're going to have to, yeah, we're going to have to go back. We're going to have to backtrack again, aren't we? Because the uh, teleporter is blocked off and uh, well, there's a switch over there that we're going to need to get. Um, this one, I think, to be honest, is probably about the same in terms of difficulty as the uh, whoops, uh, as the other one, if not maybe slightly more difficult. Um, just because I never really had a much of a problem with the conveyor belts uh, in, uh, in the, you know, the, the original version of this. And it's actually the, uh, well you've seen I've died on it quite a few times, uh, the bit right at the bottom uh, that actually kind of uh, causes me a fair few problems. That jump there, because, well, it's just a pain in the neck, frankly. It's kind of going, I guess, going back to one of the problems I had with a flipping heck. Um, with a jump I had on stage, on floor, the third floor of this uh, of this uh, stage on hard mode. In that you need to kind of, uh, going to have to double jump and avoid the, uh, and get some and get some height. You need to avoid hitting your head on the conveyor belt. Uh, and, yeah, a bit like that, but not, obviously, double jumping quite so much. Or quite so soon that time. But... Yeah, easier said than done. That is by far the uh, trickiest jump I find in the in the screen, and uh, well, I think I'm proving that point quite well. I only hope the rest uh, is uh, straightforward because that one I can't get anywhere near at the moment, and that looks decent enough without kind of uh, double jumping up, you know, massively high, but, ah, oh, finally. Um, okay, I need to drop down through this one, don't I? Ah, yeah, don't, don't forget about that gimmick. That's obviously uh, going to be a, a huge help uh, in navigating that area. But, uh, yeah, if you press down on the platform, you can drop, you can drop through it. Easy to, easy to forget, actually, because you kind of get used to it maybe in the first stage. Uh, uh, or uh, maybe the second one as well a couple of times, but by the time you start getting to you know double jumps and pixel alignment and that sort of th and that kind of thing, it's uh, and particularly the conveyor belt, these you kind know, of conveyor belts, it's uh, it's uh, yeah easy to forget. Oh why? But now, now I think I've got a bit better at this, and what I should have been doing was probably just uh, edging up to the edge. Although I still screw up every now and then, or a lot of the time. But what I should have been doing is put, is uh, edging up to the edge of the... Wow, really? Edging up to the uh, far edge of the, of the ledge and then moving off. And uh, yeah, I'm finding, wow, pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. But I'm having a, a great deal more success doing it that way. That was dumb. That was even dumber. What is wrong with me? How many flipping screens left have we got? Uh, four, I think. And I'm blooming pleased about that. Come on, I'm just dying left, right and centre on everything now. No way! What is up with the hitboxes on the mini spikes? Again, I don't know. I'd have to check that. I'd have to, you know, obviously go back and look it over. But I find it really hard to believe that I wasn't anywhere near that spike. It turns out it probably would turn out that I was, you know, just well in it and. Uh, Having a, just another personal nightmare, but oh come on now! I said once I got that jump down the bottom sorted out, the rest wouldn't be all that bad. But I still have barely got past the halfway point because I can't, I can't get back down to that area. 
<sighs> Having got the switch. Getting the switch is about as far as I've got. Right, finally, and now I've got to do this again the other way. Yes! Yes, holy bloody hell. Right, what do I do here? Oh, that's what I need to do. Yeah, make use of the uh, um, little uh, gap in the uh, gap in the floor there uh, to uh, avoid the uh, spikes that come down. But uh, yeah, as you see, this screen is pretty blooming easy. It was uh, <laughs> a bit of a pain in the neck uh, on, the, on the original way, but uh, not so much this time around. And uh, yay, we've got the screen where we've got to uh, go back and forth about eight times. And uh, yeah, there's an extra block here. I've an extra block here that makes things a little bit more interesting. Uh, sometimes, like on, on that first jump, and uh, possibly even here, uh, it makes things. Um, a little bit more tricky, but uh, on certain occasions, like I don't know what that alignment's supposed to be <laughs> um, of, of spikes, that one as well, um, it's uh, considerably easier. So, yeah, no real problem with that one. And uh, yeah, here we are again at the uh, so dubbed final screen of the uh, what would have been the halfway point. But um, yeah, again, as we'll kind of see in a moment, considerably easier given that the conveyor belts are more or less something we don't have to worry about. There might be a few um, just general platforming regular jumps that are become a bit more difficult, but I'll take that as a, uh, a, yeah, a toss-up compared to the, compared to the, compared to the using, having to muck around with the conveyor belts. So this is just uh, this is a bit slower, but uh, in theory a lot easier. Uh, oh, bugger. That one's probably still a bit of a pain either way up, but uh, yeah. Uh, when I get to it, and also, also see it, the final screen I remember being, you know, significantly easier. And here I am having to apparently get a jump, get my jump absolutely perfectly, uh, absolute perfect the highest height so that I make that jump. Well, I did it first time the previous go, but yeah. Apparently, that was silly. <laughs> yeah, don't go in the middle for that, so you're going to have to um, worry about uh, both pieces of fruit at the same time. Not a good idea. Actually, I think I take this back. I think this is a... I think this is a... Is it, this is easier. Uh, the other way up. Yes! Yeah, make sure you again you go on that conveyor belt at the end, otherwise the thing will go off screen and you won't have enough um, speed in order to catch up with it. Um, oh, oh, okay, fine. I've actually <laughs> stupidly really forgot about all this. Um, yeah, obviously we know this isn't the end this time. I have a, what looks like annoyingly perfect pixel jump with the maximum height. So yeah, I will uh, continue on and clear the um, the blackened screen. Uh, uh, in just a second, then we'll actually get to stage six, or the beginning of stage six proper. Whoops, I nearly screwed that up. So yeah, I will clear this, um, which should be a lot, uh, in theory, easier, or certainly quicker, let's put it that way, uh, going down than going up. Um, but um, yeah, maybe, it's, maybe it isn't easier, I don't know. I would assume it is. There's always something about, obviously, these sections where, you know, dropping down being easier than going up. But, uh, you know, it might make, it might make some of the, uh, the falls a bit uh, a bit tricky. Yeah, I think I'm going to go leftward a bit more there. There are some platforms here, so make sure you drop down. And make sure you jump up there, up, up. Damn it! Um, jump up before you go through the uh, second set, otherwise you'll probably end up getting screwed with uh, the jump clipping the platform. Uh, and uh, yeah, you won't get the, uh, yeah, you'll kind of stop dead in your momentum. What you'd expect won't be there. Um, so I'm guessing that that's probably about the stupidest thing you've ever seen anyone die on in a long while. Um, but I was guessing that there was about to say and guess that there's not going to be a, um, a, a kind of a checkpoint um, save in this level. But uh, I can't believe I just die on that other one. I have no words. 
I wouldn't really die on too much anyway, frankly. It's not, it's pretty straightforward. So yeah, here we are at the beginning of stage six with some awesome rocking music again. And yeah, it's the water level. Although there's something looks, the water looks just a tad off this time, doesn't it? But yeah, that will be picked up next time. So till then, cheerio.